What's good, yo? Welcome to episode 10 of Making Gains TV. We got Big John Garland. Tell me a little bit about yourself, John. Where you from? I was born in Houston, Texas. Everything and is bigger in Texas. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> we moved to Lansdale, Pennsylvania, where uh, in 2000, when I was young, um, before middle school. And I've lived in Lansdale since then. What high school did you go to? Went to North Penn High School, North Penn Knights. If you know me, I'm not a fan of North Penn. But I do like John. Mm -hmm. It was a conflict mm -hmm. when I found out he went to North Penn. <clears throat> Where'd you go to college? This is an even better story. I went to the Bloomsburg University. Go Huskies. Penn, go Huskies. Paul's out. And <laughs> what'd you graduate with? You just recently graduated. I just graduated in December, correct? I graduated with a uh, bachelor's degree in exercise science. It's only March now. Mm -hmm. How's it feel to be out of school? Be a lone wolf. Well, it's, it's kind of nice. I mean, I like working here, obviously, but uh, a lot less I mean, stuff you gotta do all during the day. But I mean, you keep it pretty busy here. Sweet. <laughs> I don't remember my transition out of college. I feel like it just kept going. It's weird. <laughs> you go from so little time to like all the time. Yeah. And then when you start working. Time goes away. <laughs> time goes away. See you later, time. It's not yours anymore. Time management. How long, how long have you played football? I played football since I was in seventh grade. I was always too heavy to play like midget football, like PB football. How much did you weigh in seventh grade? In seventh grade, I was probably about 230, 220. Nice. Yeah. I was, if I was to play before middle school, I would have played with kids like three or four years older than me. So <laughs> my parents just kind of held me back till seventh grade, and then I started in seventh. That's grade. actually the appropriate age to start now, because for like brain trauma. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, your brain's not developed enough to really start before that. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know, might have saved some brain cells. For I think it worked out well. I think you were all American at Bloom, right? Yes, all PSAC, correct? There it is. Two years. All PSAC, one year. One year. Yes. Nice. My first year. How much did you love playing football at Bloom? Awesome. It was awesome. Give me like your favorite game and then your favorite play. My favorite game was my freshman year. We played in the PSAC championship game that we won. And um, Against who? Against Slippy Rock. Okay. Against Slippy Rock. We beat them <clears throat> at home. At home. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. Um, that was huge because going from a pretty winning high school career Going into that, it was it was just kind of business as usual. Business as usual. Business as usual. <laughs> what was um your favorite play? Like giant block? You ever like scoop a fumble for a score? No, I didn't. Big I didn't touch a ball in a game. I know I touched one because I was on punt team. <laughs> I, I did down one ball. That's not, that's not, that's not my favorite play. Um, one play was probably my junior year. We played California University of Pennsylvania. We played Cal. And brought, took us to overtime, 14-14 in their place. Um, defense came up huge, and we ran a stretch to the outside, pancake the end, walked in. There it is. Game See over. Later. Game over. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Did you just like flex on dudes you pancaked, or what was like? No, I helped them up. I helped oh them my up. god! I was, I was always that guy to like on film so to like pick them up. So much sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. much sports. I didn't talk about trash. Like if someone came at me or my teammates, yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out like that. I hope John, the gentle giant. That's so good. Because like you just had 300 pounds falling you, you'd probably feel a little upset. <laughs> let, let him up. Give him a little break. But you imposed your will on another being. Exactly. That's like the point. You know? Exactly. Places so like, how can you? You know, feel like the urge is like. <gasps> well, I mean, I get a little pumped. Yeah, you see me dabbing sometimes, but. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna find tape. We're gonna find tape. There's, there's pancake it, it, dab combo. It exists. It's oh. there. It's there. I'll find it. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Check out John's Instagram. Make sure you see the pancake dab combo. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you graduate from Bloom with exercise science. The exercise science. Exercise science. And now you work with us. Yes, I'm a trainer. I'm a coach here. You originally started with your internship. Oh yeah, I did. I, I Let's recap here. that. Interned here last summer. You came, you came like, it was May maybe, was or did May. you come in January to come like, interview? I can't really remember. No. One day I came, was You just come? shot up one day. I just shot up one break? day. Yeah, it was spring break. Spring break. Spring break. So it was like March-ish. Mm -hmm. Great. I just remember thinking like, wow, this dude's a load. 
<laughs> and he goes to Bloom and he plays football. It's kind of like immediately sold. And then I think you handled all your paperwork so fast. I'm just like, I am the worst at paperwork. This guy got everything in immediately and like shot emails back right away. I was like, yep, this guy can intern for us. How'd you like the summer? It was awesome. It, it was, was, it was dope, such an experience. It? it was nothing like I've ever done before. Um, I've had other jobs, but nothing as engaging as, you know, this stuff is. I think the coolest part of your internship, this is the coolest, and I'm going to say the second coolest. <laughs> the coolest was, I asked John, I said, how many more weeks do you have? He goes, oh, I was done two weeks ago. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, I, I, all my hours are done. I was done two weeks ago. I'm like, you just keep showing up at seven in the morning? He's like, yeah, I got nothing else to do. I was like, it's not that, yeah. wow, like this guy, either it's us or it's him, but this is a, it's a relationship that's got to grow. And... I just, I was like, if you want to sleep in, like, if you can you can do that. Just, you know, we'll bring you in later if you want to come. And, like, I was just, you know, completely flattered and, like, oh, a little bit appalled. <laughs> but uh, I was just like, wow, this dude is committed. Just two weeks ago, he was, you know, his time was up. You didn't have to come back at all, waste gas, come an hour away. And uh, that was, uh, spoke volumes of your character and the, the young man that you were. The second coolest part. <laughs> what do you think it would say right now? Um, I have a couple ideas. I can't Go wait ahead, to say it. What do you think it would say? One of my favorite stories of yours. I like when I built that, that rack. I mean, me and <laughs> you, you and Big we built that rack. Shout out to that thing, man. It's the barbell rack. We had to recently retire. Retired, but I was big. What, what, else? what else do you think it would say? I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited to hear it. I'm really nervous <laughs> to hear it, actually. <laughs> so, the first week John's here, he's, um, I had to run out. I did something, or, and he's kind of covering the space. And I'm, like, calling him. To, I didn't have to get his number yet, so I'm, like, Facebook messaging him. I went to the cup. Shout out to the cup. I got, I got a milkshake. Oh, my I was God. Like, it's the hottest day in May, maybe. I'm, like, John, do, do you want a milkshake? And like, he didn't message me back. And by the time I get back to the car and I like, get back to the parking lot here, he goes, I hope with the message. And just like, couldn't stop laughing. I laughed all the way into the building. And the message read, I'm 300 pounds and I have a brain. All I think about is milkshakes. <laughs> I immediately knew we had to find a way to hire this guy. And uh, he was a keeper just off of his love for milkshakes. And working out. That's all it takes, apparently. <laughs> um, but seriously, dude, you have a you have a pretty strong passion for helping people get better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Where do you think that comes from? Um, I just want to. People have these preconceived notions of you know, they can't do something, and it's so rewarding to get someone to push past that, break through that wall, that mental wall, and break past that, and then do it, do it two times, do it five times. And we got them doing something 10 times that they, before they came in, oh, I can't even do a box jump. And then we got them doing five sets of 10 doing doing box jumps. So that's just, that's just so rewarding. For, rewarding for coach, yeah. That's awesome, man. So rewarding. We're opening our new space soon. I'm John's co-owner. How do you feel about that? I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm so it's excited, so, it's gonna be so good. I, uh, <laughs> I just worked someone out there today. The turf's not down yet, but. The space is great. Shout out to South Mount CrossFit, Kurt Miller. Um, by the time you guys see this, we should be rolling over there. And it's, uh, you know, make sure you stop in to see Big John. The Mies will be blaring. There'll be kids flying around. Big things on the way. Man. Big things on the it's, way. Uh, it's, I remember showing you the space. You were just like. Jaw dropped to the floor. You felt like it was, I felt like it was Christmas for you. I was at home. I, just, I, was, I was watching you. All these big weights. I was awesome. watching you on Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh my god, they got this. Oh my god, they got this. Oh my god, they got this. And I, that's exactly what I felt when I like heard about the opportunity. I was like, oh, it's Christmas. Um, so I'm super excited to be doing business with you. How do you feel about uh, becoming an owner, man? You're 23, mm -hmm. 23 year old owner. You got like, you got real responsibility. Yeah, man. I mean, you're, a, lot you're of a, kids, a lot of kids my age probably don't know what they want to do, and. Um, I went to school for four years to do exactly what I'm doing now, so I don't know why I don't do anything else. <laughs> That's awesome. I think it was uh, like maybe a week or two ago, which 
I knew how much you loved doing this. Like, we were here together like eight hours straight or something, like nine. Mm -hmm. And you're like, it feels like I just got here. Mm -hmm. I was like, that time flies when you're having fun. Like, people are like, how are you in there all day long? Like, it just doesn't feel like all day. It's not it's work. Like, it's, it's not, not really work. work. It's almost unfair. Mm -hmm. I feel bad when mm -hmm. people come in and talk to us about how much their job sucks. I'm just like, it's like, bro, I got got none for you. Like, I can't complain about my boss. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I am him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So, um, tell us some fitness goals you got. I see you squatting and uh, cleaning and stuff, and mm -hmm. getting back to being strong mm -hmm. as hell. Yeah, my my goal right now is just get back to my playing playing strength. Uh, it's been kind of I'm getting my body a little rest. I just stopped playing football. Um, about th two or three months ago, so I want to keep giving myself some time to recover, but I want to get back to that, that strength because I was strong as an ox when I played. <laughs> and now I kind of lost a little bit, lost a step, but strong AF. Strong AF. What do you have, What message do you have for the Metal Army and anyone that might want to come work out with us in the Allentown location? What do you think? Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's go. You ain't gonna make gains going to like a Max Fitness or a. Uh, Global you gotta save us some juice now, John. The global gym. You gotta sell us. You gotta make us believe <laughs> it. Don't yeah. you whisper mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing about us is we got coaches here that are gonna be on you if you're not doing something right. Make you the best that you're gonna be, that you possibly can be. All while having fun, you know. Me and Andre are all about having fun. I think that what's I think that's what keeps us apart from the other kind of bigger corp corp corporate gyms. And uh, if you want a great workout, come on by. Come on by and see us, for sure. Sweet. Keep making gains, Big John. You guys can also catch them moonlighting with the Amish Outlaws. <laughs> Singing, rapping, have music fest. <laughs>